Finding good quality medieval reenactment equipment can be really hard these days. There aren't a whole lot of shops in Australia and buying online can be so hit and miss. I know from personal experience how tempting it can be to go for cheaper stuff and sometimes you get very disappointed with the product. In today's episode, we're going to start looking at, at Pope Urban II's plan for a crusade. So we know that at the Council of Pienza in March 1095, the Pope began to form a very clear plan as to how Christianity could intervene into the uh, Eastern Kingdoms which were under threat or had been taken over by the Muslim armies. And serious planning was underway into how a military force could be put into action uh, in order to achieve these goals. Pope Urban II made an extensive tour, particularly of France, but also some of the other minor kingdoms. He toured extensively through northern, western, eastern and southern France. But he did take uh, fairly careful procedures to avoid uh, King Philip I of France, whom he had accused of infidelity. And this tour of France culminated in the Council of Clermont. During the Council of Clermont, the Pope emphasised how big a threat that the Muslim armies posed to Christianity and how much that Christianity would uh, suffer, I guess, um, should the Muslims actually get into Europe itself. We know the Pope held many, many, many high-level talks with many of the senior clergy who were there at the time from bishops and archbishops as well as counts and dukes and other types of aristocracy who were there at the time. In essence though, the Pope's plan was to gain support from the Norman lords for a military intervention to help the Byzantines to repel the Seljuk Turks and ideally retake Jerusalem. This was the Pope's plan. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video.